Our scripture this evening comes from Mark 9, 17 through 29. Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak. And whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. He answered them, You faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it threw the boy into convulsions, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It is often cast him into fire and into water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us. Help us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You spirit that keep this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. After crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out. And the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he was able to stand. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to him, This kind of can come out only through prayer. Let us pray. I invite you to close your eyes and breathe in deeply. And to think about those words, I believe help my unbelief I believe help my unbelief I believe help my unbelief it started with an argument about why the boy was not healed the lawyers, the crowd, the disciples arguing about healing. The Congress, the doctors, the insurance companies arguing about healing. I believe, help my unbelief. Yet the child is in need. He needs healing now. He needs to be free of seizures. He has already suffered for most of his childhood. He doesn't need your arguments about costs and freedom. He doesn't need your arguments about competition and access. He doesn't need your arguments about subsidies and tax credits. He doesn't need your arguments about free markets and jobs. He doesn't need your arguments. He needs healing. I believe, help my unbelief, the father cries. If you are able to do something, have pity on us, help us. I believe, help my unbelief. The father knows you are able, you can make him well, but you don't believe there is enough, enough money, enough time, enough competition, enough medicine. You don't believe that there is enough for him, for me, for us. I believe, help my unbelief. Show that little boy, show him kindness and compassion and faith. Show him that you care, that you believe everyone can and should be made well. Show me that you care more about us than your principles, your politics, your theology, your party. I believe, help my unbelief. Right now, there are those who are sick, who need your healing touch, who are crying out for you to lift them up and to change their lives. Right now, we as a country need your healing touch. We are so full of anger and sorrow, outrage and grief. We need you to help us believe that a better day is coming, that a more beautiful world is possible, that healing can occur, that people can speak to each other, live with each other, love each other across all that divides us, whether it's class or race or sexuality or history or location. Help us to believe. Help us to believe that you will lift us up that you will care for us, that you will heal us. Amen.